So on our last trip, the, we were using a lot more fuel than we normally would. So felt the, the brakes and it turned out the front driver's side brake a wheel, should I say, uh, was was pretty hot. So I suspect the, the brake calipers are sticking on. So just going to go out, uh, get the van jacked up, get the wheel off and do a bit of investigation uh, and see what's going on with the calipers and uh, hopefully fix it. So out to the van, get the van jacked up, axle stand underneath and wheel, wheel chocks at that end, taking the wheel off and sure enough the, the pads, the, the brake pads were, were dragging, the caliper was stuck so there's nothing left in the brake pads. So what I've done is I've taken out the brake pads, I've replaced them with, with new ones, a bit of copperies in the bottom cleaned all the disc, filed all the disc down, taken the sliders out, the caliper, and I've cleaned all the the sliders. Now, the reason for the, the issue was one of these was missing. These stop the dirt, they stop the grease getting into the, the sliders. So I bought some new ones and I'll put all this back together again now and see how that goes. That's the wheel back on, just uh, need to torque it up, drop it to the ground and give it a wee coat of paint there as well, just to tidy it up a bit. So just take the jack out now and drop it to the ground. Hello. <laughs> Changing the brake light bulb, a warning light on the dash. Always a job to do before you lay something. Yeah, I know. So we checked all the lights and it was the driver's side brake, wasn't it? So you're currently just trying to get all that out so we can get a new light in when we're done. There we go. So just put this back in there. That is good. So waiting for paint to dry and you've managed to fix a job in between. Yeah. Screw extra and screw short. <laughs> Whenever you fix anything, oh no, there's one. always extra screws. I've got one. Isn't there? Right, so you just need to touch that now. This has got a bad air, this one. So because of that, I've got a wee cheeky screw that's in here to jam, jam it in position. Do you basically fix the bad air? No, I basically bodged the bad air. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's the screw? What I do is I put a cheeky screw in there to stop the, the plug from being slack. I probably need to buy a new one of these at some point. A new connector or a new screw? <laughs> a new black thing. Okay. That wedges it. Stops it from going anywhere. Oh yeah, that's really clever. That's a technical modification. Do so you want to go and press the brakes? And we'll just check it works right. in the case. Hey, it's working. Yep. Yep, we're good. So 
So that's the driver's side finished. Dismantled the, the brake, took replaced the pads, cleaned the sliders, re-greased them, put new gaiters on them, and sort of tidied it all up and painted the wheels. So I now need to do the passenger side. The pads on the passenger side are fine, but I'm going to replace them anyway because you need to do them in pairs. So I'll just do the same process on that side and clean the clean the sliders, replace there's a couple of uh, plastic caps missing on the, the bolt covers etc so this is just as, as well doing all these sort of jobs when you've got it all apart because uh, the weather just gets into the, the brakes uh, the water and the, the dirt and the grease off the roads so it just rusts away and prevent uh, causes problems so I'll turn the van round and do the other side now to remove the calipers there's an allen bolt at the bottom and the top here and here and that releases the, the locking bolts Now, what should happen is this should come right off, but it's not. So the sliders are stuck in there, so it won't come off. So all I need to do is take the the the, the holder off. Now to do that, you need a 14 mil Allen key and at the bottom and at the top. You need to take these off to take the carrier off. I think I need to invest in a, an impact gun. I wouldn't normally need to do this only because the sliders are seized in the, car in the carrier. Let's aim off. Just a bit of copperies on the, the back of the pads.
Well, that's a good few jobs done in the van. So the the front brake, the front driver's brake was was dragging on um, due to a, a seized caliper. So well, I'll show you actually. So that's the brake pad out the driver's side, as you can see, in comparison to the the passenger side, which has got a lot more material on it because they weren't that old. I can't remember how old they were, but they weren't that old to start with. So, took the brakes apart, cleaned the the pistons, lubricated the pistons, the sliders, the sliders are notoriously bad in these vans, they just sort of seize up. The vans aren't getting used every day, so that's part of the issue. So, cleaned all the, the sliders up, greased it all, put it all back together again. Worst of the wheels off, just decided just to get a coat of paint, just to sort of tidy it up a bit, uh, so done that. Uh, had a slight oil leak, uh, front end, it's just an ongoing issue as well, so checked that, tightened everything up uh, and gave it a, a clean off underneath. So that's the van uh, sort of parked up again. Uh, just needs a right good clean now before we go on our next trip, so I need to tidy up. It's Sunday night and the shed is an absolute coop, so I need to, to have a tidy up here uh, and put everything away. And a bit of bad news, I had to take my skis out of the van. I think the skiing season's over now. We've not been skiing very much this year at all, so I need to put these skis away. Uh, until next time. Rubbish. Right, I know this looks bad. All I was doing was changing a bulb. One of these little tiny bulbs. So I've been down to Halfords. Don't need to take the glove box out, so that's a mistake. Need to take all this out. You need to take the stereo out, so it's sitting down there. And you need to get into this little wire and this little bulb that just pops in behind this. What a bloody job. And there's two of them, so I'll just change both. Okay, so if anybody else needs to change the little bulb that does the heater controls, don't take off the glove box, that's not necessary. Uh, this sort of bit needs to come off, this bit needs to come off. You don't need to take all that off, you just need to take the stereo out. And then once you're in here, I'll go this way. This cable here is the bulb. And it pops back into that space there. You just push the heating controls forward to get access to it. And then it's a job of putting it all back together again. So not very easy job to do, but it was annoying me, so here we are. I'm going to put it all back together again now. Wish me luck. Okay, so everything's back together again now after refitting the bulb, which was for in this area here. It's all working. Now, I'd taken this, the glove box off earlier by mistake, really. But whilst I'm in here, I found this little compartment I thought, that looks as if it's maybe the cabin filter. And I, I've never changed the cabin filter. So, let's have a look at it. Oh yeah. It's uh, pretty blank. It's actually crawling. We've owned this van for about six or seven years now, so I think it's maybe time to go and buy a new one of those. So, we'll not bother putting that back on just now, we'll I'll go and buy one and uh, finish the job properly. So I've just been to the motor factors, picked up a new cabin filter and a new air filter, so I'll pop this in just now. Okay, so I need to do this without banging my head again. Air filter is down here. The other screws are all sort of rusted and broken, so 
take these out and we'll see what it's like inside here. Take the screws out and... Do you know what? No, that's not that bad, I must have changed that fairly recently. That's actually in really good condition. I'll maybe just leave that one in, keep that as a spare anyway. Right, yeah, okay. that one's good. The one we bought is a spare. I must have done that. I forgot I'd done that. Right, okay. That's what we'll do. We'll just keep that in there. Cool. So we've been doing a few jobs to the van. We've done the brakes. Sort of painted up the wheels. Uh, got a new tyre fitted the other day. Because the the one on the, the driver's side at the back that was the tread was okay, but it, the tires about six years old, and they don't last forever. They deteriorate, the sidewalls deteriorate, and that's when you get blowouts. So just get it changed, and that's it. It's, it's uh, safe again. So we give the van a, a deep clean today. Uh, now we gave it clean soap and water, uh, but then I went over it with this stuff. Got this down at Halfords. It's not what I was going in for, but uh, so I sprayed that on. It gets rid of, sort of the, some of the heavier grime. Say if you need to use like polish tea cut or something that takes a layer off the paint. So that seems to work quite well. It's not as it's not brilliant on every sort of heavy stain. You maybe need to use a bit a bit of tea cut or a bit of a, a compound or something, but it, it does the job and it leaves a sort of glossy finish. So quite happy with that. For the, the door handles, for the the, the trims, our van comes with a grey trim. But a few years ago, we've, we've tried loads of stuff, we tried shoe polish and linseed oil and all sorts. But we ended up getting this sort of, this teacup product. So you put that on, cleans the degrees off it. And then you put this stuff on and it's... A little sponge at the top. It's okay. It's a bit messy. It's, it's the best I've probably found. Still stone chips, still got a few marks I'll show you in a minute uh, out of the van uh, but it seems to sort of last better than anything I've tried uh, but it does go all over the paintwork and all over your hands and stuff so I've just come into the shed here to get a pair of gloves um, and I thought I'd speak to you guys about it so I'll go out and I'll show you this in operation So what I've done here is I've done the black along the side on the door handles, so I'm going to do the front bumper now. Now at the moment you can see it's all sort of stone chip there. Now this stuff. Maybe take a couple of coats. You just put that on it and it dries in. So I'll give it a couple of coats and see how it goes. So that's the sort of the finish of it. Now that I've had to put two or three sort of coats on the bumper just uh, on that bit because it was really badly stone chip. It's not the same as painting it, but it does bring it up a little bit better, tidies it up a little bit. So it says you go up too close, you can see there's no perfect, but it probably would be better to, to paint it black because it is grey trim to start with, but quite happy with it anyway. <laughs> 